And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my phone. So what I do is I get my phone. I go and I go to the group. And it takes about eight. Hey, Tim, takes about eight to ten seconds. And there we are. Now we're live. Now I'm going to edit this. Or edit the title. Let's see here. I'm going to save that, and I'm going to pin this to feature. There we go. And, uh, yeah, so hello, uh, Tam. I know uh, we, uh, Richard, uh, I think, is trying to get his stuff uh, coordinated there. And uh, I just texted uh, um, uh, Jose Campos as well. And uh, just getting set up here. It takes uh, about uh, 10 to 12 seconds for everything to kick in. And here we are. We are live now. Just waiting for Jose Campos to come on board. And uh, hello, Richard. I'm going to bring you on just a little bit. Okay, Richard. So just stay, stay tight there with me. Okay. Can you hear me okay, Richard? I'll make sure you can hear me. Hey there, Richard. Can you hear me okay? All right, I'm going to uh, uh, talk to Tamara for a second, so just hang tight. I'm going to uh, take you off screen, and then I'll bring uh, bring you back on here. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get started. We're about to, uh, uh, only about a, six, about two minutes past the hour here. So before I get rolling for tonight's Coach's Corner, I want to talk, uh, do a quick recap here. Um, I know today was a little bit crazy. I was trying to broadcast from the car, but I delivered a ton, a ton, a ton of content about – 23 ways to market to sellers. Almost all of them are free. In particular, I showed cost you $20 a month, and you'll get more leads you can ever possibly imagine using that one method that I showed you. Uh, and tomorrow, I'll talk a little bit more about direct mail. But even just the methods I showed you today are going to generate you more leads you could possibly imagine. But remember, just like I said today, even though I showed you 23 ways to market to sellers, you only want to uh, pick two, maybe three ways to market uh, to sellers. Otherwise, you're going to stink at all of them. You just want to focus on two to maybe three ways to market uh, to sellers. Uh, again, to recap from Monday, we're talking about your, 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 uh, your vision and your goals and your financial goals, which how convenient I've got someone who's – the best at helping set goals uh, on this call tonight. Uh, but we talked about goals and visions on Monday. Tuesday, we talked about the different why wholesaling is uh, not anywhere compared to lease options, why lease options are so much better than wholesaling. And we talked about the different types of lease options. We talked about lease option assignments. And then you saw me actually put all the paperwork together on a real deal to a million dollar property down in, uh, uh, down in Houston. Uh, that uh, uh, that I'm working with the attorney on. And I even tried to call that attorney today from the car, but he texted me back, said he was in court. So I uh, wasn't able to uh, speak to him uh, today on that broadcast. If we have time, uh, I have the attorney's cell phone number. Maybe I'll try to call him <laughs> on this call. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, uh, and so then today we talked about uh, how do you market to sellers? We talked about 23 ways to market to sellers, right? And uh, in almost all those ways, were free. And then I talked a little bit today about um, uh, the Dream Partner program. Uh, I've had uh, people already reaching out to us about the Dream Partner program. And believe it or not, uh, a couple of you all have already uh, taken the initiative and taken the first initial step towards your financial freedom and towards uh, your destiny, which is actually filling out the application, which we haven't even talked about really, but I'll talk a little bit about that uh, this evening. I'm really going to dive deep into the Dream Partner Program tomorrow, uh, but we'll talk a little bit about it uh, this evening. So uh, as we get started here on Coach's Corner, uh, I've got uh, a few special guests uh, uh, that are going to be joining us this evening. Uh, one of them uh, is, uh, uh, well, two of them are actual dream partners, uh, just like we've had, uh, just like we've had dream partners the other nights. We've got two dream partners uh, joining us this evening. Uh, one of them, we're still waiting on uh, for him to come in in the wings here on standby. Uh, Jose Campos, who I actually just before this call. 
uh, I just loaded a, a, a video of Jose Campos after he was closing his second deal. That one netted him, uh, that one was $24,000, I think $500 that he got on that deal. And there's a phenomenal video that's kind of gone viral, I think, within our community of Jose Campos. Everybody knows him as WEPA. And you'll have to watch the video to see what I'm uh, what I'm talking about. And then we've got a, a brand new. So we've got someone seasoned like Jose and then someone brand new like Richard Mecklemore, who just came on as a dream partner, but is already doing so much, uh, um, like literally within a week, that after this coach's corner, he and I are going to spend some time on a Zoom and really start diving into the action he's taken and the leads he's already gotten. And uh, Tamara, you wouldn't believe that the, what Richard's already done That's just in the, in the week. Yeah. It's just incredible. So I'm excited, super excited to uh, uh, to have him going as a dream partner. But having said all that, let's get started with uh, tonight's Coach's Corner. Uh, my first guest is none other than Tamara Aragon. Now, here's what's interesting about Tamara Aragon. Uh, well, a number of things. One is that um, she literally started in entrepreneurism when she was like a teenager. And uh, if you can believe that. And uh, I guess there's something about being an entrepreneur. It's just in our genes. It's in our blood. And so she started as a, as a teenager. And uh, I, I still remember the first thing I did, uh, my first entrepreneur uh, uh, business that I ran, which that's a whole other story. But I had, anyway, uh, but when <laughs> I started, anyway, when Tamara was 20, she'd already started a multi-million dollar company at 20 years old. All right. So, uh, I mean, this is unbelievable. And at, uh, in 2003, really started diving heavy into real estate and guess what book really got her started in real estate. Mm -hmm. book I told y'all Monday to go get True on story. Amazon. True story. Same this book, book. Same, year. same year, same year as I did. Yeah. So, Tamara and I didn't know each other in 2003, but we both started in real estate. Uh, the same year at the same time. Uh, and it was with the, because of the same book because of Robert uh, Allen. And so who would have known that our paths would uh, cross uh, uh, again, you know, uh, many, many years later. Uh, so um, again, so Tamara has built a, a real estate empire on her own and a phenomenal business, uh, you know, real estate business. And, and now as, as she's evolved and grown, really what her interest is and, and where her passion is, is in helping other people see their potential, see their desires and see those desires come to fruition. And so Tamara Aragon is actually someone that a lot of people in the real estate space and even in the guru space, they'll, they'll reach out to Tamara for guidance and help and assistance. And so, so uh, she is just a phenomenal expert and, and uh, uh, you know, in her own right. And the, uh, I'll talk a little bit more about our story tomorrow, but, and at the end of 2019, October 2019, uh, Tamara and I were at an event in Tampa, uh, Florida. And we were on the beach at, at uh, Clearwater, Florida. And I was talking about how um, I wanted to just totally, I wasn't happy with where the quote unquote coaching was going and the coaching model was going. And I just was not happy with where the, the industry model of coaching was. was. And how I, uh, I wasn't happy with it. Uh, wanted to totally change everything. And it, it, through that conversation, Tamara, I said that we needed to do something together. And that is where the dream partner program was born. And we launched that basically, uh, December, December. December. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We launched that in mm -hmm. December, which is a hard time. It was like the 19th, almost Christmas. We just yeah. threw it out there. Yeah. Yeah. And so we just, we, we just threw it out there. You know, we, we put this together in December, 2019, the dream partner program. And one of the things, the one of the greatest things that I think that we did with the Dream Partner Program is for two people who had, you know, at the time, what, 17 years in, the, uh, in real estate, was we said, what do we not want in coaching? What do these students, what do these people not need, right, uh, that they seem to be paying for, that all the big box boys say, oh, they got to pay for this and pay for that. What do they not need? And we stripped all that away and said, here's what they need. And here's, here's a massive amount of gunpowder to put in the cannon to to blast them out and blast their success and so we've tweaked it more and more and more over the last uh well i guess two years now and refine it and refine it and fine tweak the engine and fine you know fine tuned it and it is uh without a doubt uh and i'm i know i'm biased but even if i'm not we have the absolute best coaching and mentoring 
program out there bar none and you know you've done something right when all the other gurus uh, get mad at you because your coaching is so good and they're like what are you doing that's you know that's a fifty thousand dollar package easily that you're giving away i'm like yeah, i know but guess what our success rate is extremely extremely high so having said that um uh, as i mentioned a little bit earlier today is that um throughout this master class we are accepting uh 10 people under our wings in the dream partner program uh the way that you start that ball rolling is you go to the dreampartners.com the dreampartners.com uh, you take about three minutes fill out an application very short application just gives us a little bit of information about you what your goals are what you're what you're trying to get to what you're trying to obtain and then you'll schedule a call uh with maricella or tim and they'll uh actually there's a link to schedule now okay now there's an apology so there's a link to schedule you click the little link to schedule the call with uh, uh maricella or tim and then at that point um uh, they'll coordinate the zoom call with uh tamra uh, uh tamra you're uh, handling all the calls i believe this Tim, week. Tim, 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 me and susie who's also susie. amazing okay i didn't know if susie was in pocket yeah this week this just this week she's a little busy but by next okay. monday she's going to be rocking it okay um so then they'll schedule a zoom call with uh with tamra or susie and they just want to make sure that that your goals and what you're trying to do match what we're trying to do because we will actually um you know at the end of the day, because we're only taking bring on 10 people, we can be picky about who we work with. And we want to work with only those that truly want to succeed. Uh, and it is because it is a small family of about 50 dream partners. Right now we're right at 40. And so our goal is to have 50. So we're looking at 10 people uh, over the course of this master class. So again, you want to go to the dreampartners.com. I'll talk more about it tomorrow and what it all entails, but I will tell you this, we already have, as of today, we already have, I think, three applications in and we're, already take, we're only taking 10 people. So you want to get your your name at the front of the door, go to the dreampartners.com. Uh, you want to do that after this call and go ahead and fill out the application. But having said that, here we go. Tamara Aragon, hello, how are you? I'm doing amazing. How are you? I am wonderful. I've been, uh, it was a little bit of a crazy day today going to uh, yeah. the other side of the world for uh, Karina's uh, doc for the pre op stuff and all that. But uh, yeah, well, uh, you got your priorities straight. Well, and that's the thing you went, know, Tim, two things I thought about uh, uh, whilst, uh, you know, over there is one, um, I actually told uh, Karina as we're driving back and there's horrendous traffic, right? <laughs> I said, I am so grateful that I don't have to do that every day, driving in that traffic. Mm. I, I'm so grateful I don't have to do that. And as, a, as someone who's an entrepreneur and self-employed, you know, I don't have to, we don't have to drive in that traffic. Uh, and I'm also uh, grateful that uh, I have a, uh, an occupation that allows me to say, hey, you know what, I'm going to take this time and go and be with my wife for, you know, her, for what she needs. So yes. very grateful for that. So, and yeah, you're a good so, example for priorities. Yes, priorities, definitely, absolutely a priority. So, uh, Tamara, uh, uh, first of all, I want to thank you for taking a moment of, out of your evening there in uh, Florida to be with us. And uh, talk to us a little bit about, um, uh, I know I kind of gave my spiel about how we came together in uh, 2019, but, um, uh, you know, I'm in front of the camera all the time. You're normally behind the scenes, if you will, mm -hmm. unless you're on a Zoom call. Kind of talk about, if you will, a little bit about uh, what you see as someone who uh, talks to and interviews people that are applying to work with us. Uh, what do you? What are some things you're looking for, and, and 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 what do you see that they're looking for? What do they look for that that you match them up? That you say, hey, you know what? I think you're a fit. Uh, and then also dive into where you see what we've put together, how it stands totally different than anything else out there. Well, it's funny you ask, but really the whole time I'm talking to somebody, I, I keep these four words in mind. One is the, how much desire do they have? How much do they really want it? Because I find that if people don't have a real true desire to succeed, they're probably not gonna do what it takes. Mm -hmm. And the next thing is I need decision makers. I need people who are ready to take action. So I look and I don't ask these questions. I just kind of listen to how they respond to questions. So, you know, people who are listening to this, 
decision makers make a successful person, not someone who sits on the fence and wonders, you know, someday, I don't know, let me talk to, let me think about it. Right, you know, right. Decision makers, those houses go fast. You have to make decisions. Yeah. Um, and then um, the other thing is, of course, doing it, action takers. And um, so I, I like to hear about their life and what they've done and how passionate they are about what they've done. It doesn't have to be real estate, but um, we are looking for action takers, right? I mean, John, you were talking about your program. I don't even like that word because it just sounds yeah, so yeah, I don't either. Yeah, yeah, I, I, when I talk to people, I talk about being a partner with John, a mm -hmm. dream partner, and a dream partner for you is someone who's just going to follow you, um, and I and be coachable and open-minded and just do what John says, and you will succeed, John and Joe and the team. And um, so I look for that how coachable a person is. A lot of people in this day and age have a dream of being a millionaire and, you know, doing this and making all this money. But really it's about being coachable, taking the steps and taking action to have that dream come true. So mm -hmm. that's what I look for while I sit and chat with people about who they are and what they want and try to figure out if this is a good fit. So. You know, at, uh, on Monday's call, on Monday's training, I was talking about, about uh, mindset and comfort zones. And one of the things uh, uh, that one of my sayings that I show is that successful people decide quickly and adjust. Poor exactly. people, poor people never decide, right? Uh, the the decide, so, deciding is just no. <laughs> yeah. And, and I think that's so true. I mean, look at the most successful people that you know, uh, Tamara, whether it be real estate or any industry. Mm -hmm. um, uh, any of the most successful, successful people, you know, you know, if they have an opportunity that's presented to them, the successful people, you know, do they go, well, let me think about it for a few days and hem haw around and I don't know. Mm -hmm. and I don't, uh, it's like, boom, let's do it. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, and make and a way. It's not a matter of if it's a matter of when and how. Yep. And I mean, so that's what we, that's what I look for. And I also was thinking when you were thinking about our trip, uh, to Tampa, where we ended up on Clearwater, yeah. it just just occurred to me again what a transformational weekend that was because I yeah. live here now, and that yes. weekend was the weekend I pretty much knew I wanted to live in this area. And so, between my uh, time with you and your team, which has been such a great, well, except for you, it's been great. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, I pulled a John. <laughs> no, it's been great. Um, your team is great. Love Melanie and Joe. And I mean, it's just, I feel so honored to be a part of your team. So my life changed there. And now I live here and love it. Love it. So. You know, uh, and, and it, there's so much behind, uh, not just, you know, visions and goals and surrounding yourself with people that are going to, uh, bring you to another level, right? Surrounding yourself with other people. They're going to bring you to an, another level. Well, that's where we were. We were in Tampa. Yes, around exactly. Unbelievable billionaire, successful people that people here probably know the names of that we were hanging out with that inspired Absolutely. Us. Absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, you know, one of the things you, you, uh, jokingly you know razz me about is how i spent a lot of time at masterminds right yes, you do. <laughs> look at your face but but you but but when it comes down to the truth you and i both know that being around those people that play at a, at a mm -hmm. higher level and just people that operate at a different frequency is going to bring us up uh and one of the great things about uh you know being in, in the dream partner program is uh those connections that i have in the industry that i can then bring into the dream partner world and allow the dream partners to be around them and uh, uh and rub elbows with them if you will and it just helps bring them to uh, a whole other level and plus the the ideas the information that i get from those masterminds i bring into uh the dream partner program so that they don't have to spend one hundred fifty thousand dollars, you know to be a no, part it's of it's very groups. reasonable and john what i love about what you have to offer is just that it's not just you know people hear mentorship getting on some calls and being around the king of lease options which is amazing and his <laughs> counterpart Joe, who's also amazing. Um, but it's also the tools and resources. I mean, you give so much. And every time I think, oh boy, this is amazing. You add another thing. And you just talked about your uh, dream partners going to this mastermind in February yeah. and who, who, who's going to be there and so what should they get to talk about networking? Yep. yep. 
Yeah, Jerry Green is going to be there, who was, an, who was a coach, who was an instructor for Robert Allen, uh, and none other than and, and Mitch Steven, who I don't even know if you've ever met Mitch Steven. But, I have, and actually I'm, I've uh, promoted his book, and yeah, no, he's amazing. Phenomenal, and so he's going to be there in person at the Dream Partner Mastermind in February, both uh, uh, Jerry Green and Mitch Steven, so uh, I mean, and what an and the other dream partners to next and level the, the business to when you're it's one thing to be on zoom and see you know 20 other dream partners but to be in a room for two days with 20 or 25 other dream partners that made it to the mastermind it you can't help but elevate yourself and take it to another level and uh, it, it just brings you up uh, the last mastermind in St. Pete, Florida was phenomenal. And this one's going to be even, uh, even better, if you can believe that. So and I'm really fun. excited. About it. It's, <laughs> and it's fun. And it's and a lot it's of fun. fun. Because you know what my motto is? If it's not fun, I'm done. That's right. <laughs> Why hang around you, John? Because you're so fun. Because I'm so fun. So fun. Well, I've, uh, I know I've got to get on with the uh, coaches. Yes, corner. One thing I want to do real quickly while you're still on camera here before I bring on uh, uh, Joe and Richard and mm -hmm. Jose. So every day at the end of the training this week, I've been uh, telling everybody about a book that they should at least download off Audible or go to Amazon and go get. The first one was One Minute Millionaire. The next one was Who Not How. Because so many, every time we find ourselves asking a question of, well, how do I do that? Well, how am I going to do that? You're asking the wrong question. You should be saying, well, who has done that, right? Today, I was in the car. I didn't have an opportunity to show the book. Here's the book that uh, I'm telling everybody to go get, Think mm -hmm. and Grow Rich. Every single person I know who has a worth who has a net worth over a million dollars has read this book a minimum of one time. When Ross Hamilton came out to the house in South Carolina uh, to our mastermind there, or North Carolina, wherever, I can't remember where I was, <laughs> on the beach. One of those when beautiful I, places. When I was, when I was some beautiful place on the beach. When Ross Hamilton came out and sat in that room with us and told us about selling his company for $100 million to First American Title, uh, he pulled out this... Uh, this old kind of ratted notebook and stuff of his original notes and outline of connected investors. And in it was a, was a copy of think and grow rich bound with rubber bands, which you know what that means. You know, he had gone through multiple times and, uh, and so can, even mine's kind of yellowed. Uh, and so everybody needs to go get think and grow rich by Napoleon Hill. I'm going to add to that story about Ross. Remember the mastermind group that I mentioned to you yep. earlier? Yep. My first major mastermind. Uh -huh. He was in it. Yep. And I remember sitting with him and he was had this idea, yeah. this idea that now has made him this money yep. that many years ago. So he was amazing. He, he and Zach Childers were talking about that mastermind. I remember sitting. I mean, and, and I didn't know you. Were, I didn't know you were in that particular meeting that's, that's, how phenomenal. I, that's, that's how i got started yeah unbelievable i know unbelievable. amazing wow amazing. so i think john though the point is uh, for people that are listening here is that your masterminds the networking that goes on on your calls yeah. on your zoom calls on your which are uh, what every day <laughs> yes, yeah, so Joe. Joe is on, day, Joe Joe on, on standby people. here uh is meet, meets the students twice a day yeah He's that's available. amazing i don't know yeah. anyone who does that you know, I mean, not only do you get to, some people let you type a question and they'll get back to you, which is fine, but Joe's there live yep. to like walk people through contracts and talking to sellers or whatever. Anyway, you guys are doing a great job and I am I love talking about the dream partnership with people and looking forward to meeting everyone that's listening here. So absolutely, go, absolutely. Go buy at the dream and I'll get to, I'll get to get on this zoom call with you and talk to you. All right. So guys, if you want to have a call with Tim, and here's the thing, I, I, I want to be very clear here. Even if you had, I don't know, couldn't imagine not wanting to work with me as under my, <laughs> in my team, but who doesn't want to work with the king of lease options? I know. Right. Even if you had no desire to work with me or no desire to, to do lease options, um, uh, people pay a lot of money to have consultations with Tamara Aragon. This is included as part of this as part of this masterclass. 
So you're going to get a free consultation, at least from Tamara Aragon, right? So you, you definitely want to go to thedreampartners.com, get us a little bit of information, schedule that call, and uh, let's see if we can bring you under the wings and make 2022 an amazing, amazing year, kicking it off in February in San Antonio. But go to thedreampartners.com. You can have your own Zoom call with Tamara Aragon. And Tamara, you're looking phenomenal. You're looking phenomenal. I'm feeling uh, good. So good to see you. So good to see you. So good to see you. Well, Tamara, well, thank you. I'm to hearing from your students now because, I mean, I, I signed up, both of them. Or Susie did one. I think I did one. But, I mean, it's fun when we get to talk to people and put them together and then watch them succeed. With you. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. All right. Well, well, I'm going to bring them on, Tamara. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. I'm going to bring on, everybody stick around and bring on uh, Jose and bring on Joe and bring on uh, Jose. Okay. And there goes Tamara. All right, Jose Camera, right. where's your camera? There he is. Hey, how are you? What's up, Jose? All right, Joe, what's going on, sir? Hey, how are you, sir? How are you guys? I am, man, we are doing Good. great here. Um, so, uh, yeah, so welcome, everybody. So I thought this would be a great uh, opportunity here on, on this Coach's Corner to have someone like Jose, uh, who has just been knocking out of the park, knocking out of the park, been with us for uh, for a while now, and then someone brand new, Richard Mecklemore, uh, cause, just because brand new, because it would allow people to see uh, someone that's uh, well-versed like Jose and someone that's brand new like Richard. Now, Richard has experience in real estate, but I mean brand new into the into the Dream Partner program. So, uh, and I've been blown away by what Richard already uh, put together in, in a week. And uh, and I'm excited uh, for him and, and, and working with him. So uh, I'll tell you what, let me start off, um, if I could, with, uh, I, I, I'm going to start off with Jose, I think. Jose, I just... Uh, a little bit ago before this uh before this call put your wepa video into the facebook group of this uh, of the dream partner i mean of the uh, of, of this master class um so um that that video has kind of uh, gone semi viral and you're known as wepa right so uh, uh, everybody loves wepa uh, so i put that video up there and um yeah what does wepa mean for those that are uh unfamiliar WEPA's, with this wepa is puerto WEPA, rican yeah. for yeah yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. And Jose, you're Puerto Rican. Is that why John says that? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Yeah. He, he makes it very clear in the video that he's Puerto Rican. So, <laughs> Jose, um, I'm going to start with you, Jose. Um, now, you just closed a deal a couple of weeks ago for $35,000, right? That's correct. And this week, you just had a deal funded where the buyer, this option got funded today, right? Or yesterday, today? The ah, funded? yes, uh, yes uh, Monday, Monday, yes. Oh, Monday, okay, Monday, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm losing track of the days. So, so you're doing phenomenal, you're doing great. Let's go back to when you first started. Now, you were an engineer, right? Your background is engineering, right? That's correct. So you're okay. engineering. Mm -hmm. So you're an engineer, and you had actually tried to do some wholesaling, right? I wasn't before before trying. us. Before us, you had done some wholesaling, right? Yeah, before you, I bought a couple of courses in wholesaling <laughs> that I got zero return of investment on it. <laughs> a lot of money spent, nothing coming back. So I said, well, you are the last chance. You know, I, I heard <laughs> one of your... I heard one of your, you know, um, you speaking in one of a conference was in the millionaire meeting or something. I, I can't remember the name. The Mike. Oh, millionaire uh, meeting. Yep. Oh, with uh, Mike uh, Hambright. Yes, with Mike. Yeah. I hear you over there. I said, well, man, then let's see. The, he's at least he's close, so I can't be <laughs> able to reach him. So let's try him. And um, man, it's been uh, it's been uh, amazing, you know. Uh, Immediately after signing with you, I uh, got what three deals? Four? Yeah. Three deals? Sorry, I, I don't mean to interrupt. Why do you think the wholesaling didn't work for you? Because wholesaling works in general. Why? Why do you think? Because you're a you know exceptionally smart guy. Yeah, uh, at least you, know, you have me fooled. Um, but why? Why? Uh, what happened with the wholesaling? Do you think you just didn't get all the content or all the keys or or what was the well, deal there? You need to spend a lot in marketing. You okay. need to be very able as a like a person like you talking to others, and I am not that kind. Of, I'm not that uh, skillful 
<laughs> talking as you are, you know. So. But I, I can't speak Spanish either, so you have that entire. Yeah, Spanish, is, uh, Spanish is another I know, thing. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but we are not here in Spanish, so that's a problem. <laughs> so, um, and, and of course, there is a lot of competency. And, and also you need to, you know, it's, it's hard because you need to like try to get the most that you can from the seller in order that you can sell the property, you know, a, a still at a discount because- For wholesaling, yeah. And with us, it's it's a win, win, win for everybody, right. for sure. Mm -hmm. Cool. It, I just, yeah, I was just curious. Thank you. Now, now uh, and you're, a, you're an engineer, I mean, you're pretty, uh, you'd be an analytical type person. Would you consider yourself pretty analytical? Yeah. Okay. You don't think so? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Well, well uh, yes, you're, yes, so you're, 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 <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm an engineer. <laughs> uh, but so you, so you came on board with us as a dream partner, and very quickly, well, within a month, I think mm -hmm. you had your first deal. <clears throat> yep, within a and month then, and and two or three days after, um, mostly a week after that one, I got a second one. Yeah, yeah. It, it was really quick. And because the, the first one was eighty five hundred dollars, the second one was. Was that the twelve twenty four thousand dollar one? Yes, in rock the rock wall. wall. Yep, rock wall. Then a twelve thousand one right after. Then the forty k, and then I mean it just it was snowballing. It was snowballing. Yep. Matter of fact, I don't know if I've told you this or not, Jose. You're the reason that now in the Dream Partner program, uh, our guarantee, our goal is to is to uh, split a minimum of forty thousand dollars with our Dream Partner. Because he blew us out of the water. I'm like, oh, Jose Campos blew that up. I got to raise the bar. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you're the reason that we've got the bar set uh, at forty thousand now because we had it set too low. But that just goes to show the power of the of the Dream Partner program, you know. And uh, and more than you know, again, the the Dream Partner um, uh, family. It's more than just about hey, working with me and working with Joe. It's really about. Um, the foundation that we lay for you, the uh, the contacts that we have for you, and, and the support. Uh, speak a little bit, if you could, about uh, since you've been with us for a little bit about um, kind of your take on the uh, the access that you have to myself or Joe, uh, the support that you have from us. Yeah, I think that's the best thing of the program is that you are just a phone call away. You know, whatever. Even even on Monday when we were having the issue with the seller, yep. I call you. Yep. And, you know, you in 10 minutes, you jump with the call with us and, you know, you, uh, everything was solved, you know, everything went fine. Uh, but but apart to that, you know, every time that I have an issue, or I have a question or I, I don't know what to do with this or with that. I just, you know, just call you send, or send you a text message and you just respond back, you know, with the with the potential solution to that. Um, and the other thing about what you were saying about the contacts. I can guarantee you that it's not the same to go with you to the lawyer's office than going without you to the lawyer's office, okay? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. It's not the same when the owner of the company opens the door for you that when you need to stay outside because you don't have an appointment. <laughs> yep. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Jose is talking about when I, I went to the hospital. That's David, but okay. No. <laughs> That's great. When, when uh, yeah, we went to uh, Dallas to the attorney's office and the uh, company op saw so opened up the door because I was with Jose. <laughs> it's like, oh, John Jackson's here. Well, let's open up the door. <laughs> yeah, none of us have an appointment. We yeah. parked there. He saw from the window, and when we were walking to the front door, the door was open for us, and it was. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, and that's one of the things is that uh, whether it be Jose or Richard, anybody, any of the dream partners, if they need access to somebody that uh, maybe has a specialty 
uh, that's different than mine, but they need access or, or that knowledge, uh, I can simply make a phone call or a text or an email or whatever uh, to connect, say, Jose or whomever uh, to whether it be a, an attorney that specializes in something or a, a lending company or whatever the case may be uh, to help them with that specific uh, uh, deal that they have uh, you know, on the table. So even though we do focus uh, you know, specifically on lease yeah, options, uh, when the dream partners bring us deals, it's a matter <clears> of, okay, what bucket do they go into? You know, yep. so so yeah, you just closed that last deal was thirty five thousand dollars, and we're all super uh, excited for you, uh, Jose. And what's interesting is that after you came on as a dream partner, probably three months, maybe four months, three months later, uh, you got let go of your job as an engineer. Yep. Yeah, it was during the whole COVID thing, and you lost your yep. job as an engineer. And thank God you uh, were still you were doing real estate. I wasn't you know? really there. Yep, I love it. I wasn't I really it. doing deals. <laughs> and uh, in uh, well, before I try to bring Richard on again, let me ask you this, uh, Jose. I asked you this one time before. So you had spent money on wholesaling courses, uh, this course here, that course there, and those are courses all required a tremendous amount of capital for marketing. Whereas with what we do, if we do direct mail, it's very small, specific pieces. And and now your your wife saw results within just a couple of months, you know, 8,500, 24,000, 12,000. <clears throat> and now your wife thinks that I'm a genius, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't no, like that. What you? I am the answer. genius. I am the genius. <laughs> <laughs> I finally figured it out. <laughs> you finally figured it out. <laughs> Just call the call the guy in Texas. That's who you should have called to, to begin with. <laughs> well, I'm gonna bring. Uh, I'm gonna try Richard again real quickly. Please, Richard, 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 you you yeah. Hey guys. Let's see if I can. Yeah, we got. Yeah, can you yeah, hear your volume? You got a lot of feedback, lot of feedback here. Sure, hold on. I've been listening to this feedback since I've been on the call. Uh oh. Is that any better? Yeah, is that yeah, better? Is that better? better? Yeah, we can hear a little bit, but. John's audio is, is outputting on somewhere. I'm muted. What is it? Hey, I, do you have uh, your audio on speaker? Yeah. Okay, it's feeding back into the microphone. That's what it is. If it's too loud. Uh, well, I don't know how to do that, to be honest with you. Nice working okay. <laughs> it's not, sorry, I get paid the big bucks to you know, solve these problems. Okay, what should I do, sir? Well, you could, uh, do you have a headset you could plug in, or is there only audio uh, for the speakers? No, I mean, the problem is I'm on my smartphone and it uses these earbuds, and I'm going to have to go track the pair down real quick. Y'all go ahead and okay. talk, and I'll be right with you. Okay. Actually, yeah, you just you your phone, I get it. <laughs> yeah, because if he's not near the computer. Anyway, so as he's trying to get his uh, headset in, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn his uh, audio down. I'm gonna try to. So Joe. So Joe. I'll, 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 I'm gonna. Take Richard back off because because audio. Okay. So Joe, uh, so you've been working on our dream partners now for a few years. Um, what Jose said, well, he bought a course, couldn't get it to work. Bought a course, couldn't get it to work. So it was going to require a lot of uh, marketing capital. Uh, Jose is a sharp guy, you know. He's he, you know he's a sharp guy, uh, and he's got the he became a dream partner and implemented immediately. He took action just like we tell him to do this, 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 did it, and boom, 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 it works. But don't you see as the coach for the dream partners that that uh, so many people will come to us typically we're their third or fourth attempt at real estate and in many cases as jose said the last attempt hey you're you're the last attempt at this do you see that yeah, line, joe i do and uh and, and be shorter on your answers if you could joe Okay. yeah he goes yes See, <laughs> <laughs> <Claro>. <laughs> but, uh, but, but, so when you have someone that comes to us for coaching to become part of the dream partner program and they they say dude this is my last attempt i've you know I've, I've done everything i can this is my last hurrah what is it that you see 
or what things do you see that you present to them or the challenges that you push them to that get them past that hurdle, that mental hurdle of, of I've tried this, try this and to say, you know what, we're going to do this and this and dang it, it's going to work. Yeah. Right. So I, and again, I can't speak for those other courses. I've never signed up for coaching with another course. Um, you know, so I can only uh, speculate based on, you know, kind of uh, bits and pieces that they're either not giving, they're not being given all the information that they need. Um, either the uh, barrier to entry is too high for marketing, right? I can't spend 5,000 a month on postcards or brochures, um, or they're just, uh, they're not being guided, right? So with us, um, it, accountability is is huge. I know it sounds dumb, but um, I, hold, I hold our dream partners accountable. Did you get this done today? Um, what did you do? What do we have to do? Um, so that keeps people accountable and, and we do our group calls and, uh, you know, so if you don't do your job for that day, you're going to get called out on it, you know, and you're going to be uh, uh, a little embarrassed. Um, but another thing too is uh, there's, you could buy the best course in the world. There's always going to be some piece of information that you might need that's not in there that you could easily dial us uh, up and say, and ask us, uh, John, Joe, what, uh, where does this specific initial go? Uh, what's this date? Uh, what's the date now? There's always going to be those little pieces of information that I think um, are important that those nuggets that get left by the wayside with the bigger coaching companies that just read from a manual. And there's yeah. no um, there's there's no fire under, uh, you know, that nobody's pushing those those people um, to perform. And not only do we arm you with all of the information you need, okay, we're not going to upsell you into something, you know, oh, well, you, you got 90% of the way. If you want to do this deal, you're going to need, you know, another X amount, uh, you know, dollars. No, we give you the keys to the kingdom to do the deals. And then on top of that, with the dream partners, um, you know, we're going to hold your hand and guide you step by step by step, one, two, three to X, Y, Z. And um, I think that's why, Jose uh, is doing very well because he he does have that right side uh, right side of the brain and he's very analytical and he's an engineer and um, he just needed okay here's step one here's step two here's step three here's step five thousand and if you don't do it then that's why you're not succeeding and there's something left up for debate or or, or uh, you know anything uh, in the gray area that's why uh, yeah it is exactly that way yo <clears throat> when when I joined it. We did the onboarding call, and right after that was the first uh, coaching call with the rest of the group. And I remember when I get into that first call, the other guys, you know, John, you know, I was the, the newbie. I didn't have anything, no, but they all, all the other guys, John was, like, okay, did you do this? Did you call this one? Did you do this? You know, a lot of instruction now or a lot of uh, directions. And I was so like, wow, this is really action, you know. So to me, at the end of that call, John told me, hey, you need to call, send text message on their Facebook marketplace to all this county, the people in this county, the houses in these counties. At that night, before going to bed, you know, I was at bed actually, go with the phone, sending the text messages. And I think by maybe before the next call, I was already having one, one a, a price sheet already sent, you know, people inquiring about, about the the program no an offer <clears throat> you so, know uh yeah and, and speaking of price sheets and offer and i'll talk more about this tomorrow uh when i really talk about the, the dream partners but uh something that i'm doing now jose that i i didn't i didn't have this offer when uh when i brought you on i um is that uh now uh as people come on as a dream partner uh, because i believe so strongly in what we do and we push them so hard that my offer is if you send 90 seller price sheets in 90 days and myself or Joe sign off on them and you're doing it correctly and you don't have a contract, I will actually refund everything you've put into the Dream Partner program. And I'll still continue to work you, with you myself until we get a contract. Uh, and, and I think it's a heck of an offer. I'm just saying you don't even have to do a deal. If you do 90 price sheets in 90 days and you don't have a contract, I'll refund you everything you put into the Dream Partner program because I believe that much in it. Uh, and, and Jose, for someone who's sending a lot of uh, uh, price sheets, that's, you know, and you're an engineer and Joe went to college and I checked the math with Joe. According <laughs> to Joe, and Jose, you're an engineer, correct me if you're wrong, if I'm wrong. All power is 
yeah. 90 price sheets in 90 days, that equates to approximately very close to give or take one price sheet a day. Is that correct, Jose? Yeah, or two or 45 days. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so he comes in with the analytical, or it could be two and wow. forty-five. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that, Joe. You could do two a day for forty-five days. See, this is why we have Jose Campos. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it, yeah, thank God. Yeah, he's genius. That's awesome. Jose, can you imagine? First of, all, first of all, how easy it is to send to talk to uh, you know one seller a day, but to send a price sheet a day. Do you think, Jose? It'd be mathematically possible to send 90 price sheets that are, you know, legit. We've talked to the seller and we've signed off their good numbers. 90 and you don't have a contract? If you haven't sent 90 in 30 days, you're losing your time. Yeah, John is working with you until the day he dies. That's yeah, the answer that's, to that. That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like Jose said, if you don't send 90 in 30 days, then you're not you're not you're right. Working. Right. Not working it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going to try one last time, Richard. And, and Richard, if the audio still messed up, let's try it. Richard, can you hear us? I'm good. Can no. you hear me better? Yeah, a little better, a little better. So, Richard, uh, uh, just to be respectful of time here, because uh, we've run a little bit longer. So you just came on board, Richard. You just came on board, and you and I so uh, we had a one initial first call, but you and I have another call that uh, we were hoping to do earlier today. But I was on their side of Dallas. So, uh, but just in a week, uh, you've done some phenomenal things that are exactly what I'm saying. Hey, do this, this, and this. And man, you're about to uh, blow it out of the water. So you're uh, uh, about to pound the uh, the listed houses, right? Over 30, 60, 90. Is that right? That is correct. How many? That is correct. Uh, I, just need to, I just need to know what the message is that I go and pound them with. So. Yep. So so uh, Richard has. Do you remember the total number of uh, of expires that you found? Was it expired? Oh yeah, I found. Uh, I, I pulled expires and I pulled absentee with low equities and the expires I pulled about 1700 in uh, seven counties and the and the uh, absentee I've got about 3000 in seven counties. Okay, so you've got a ton of uh, potential uh, potential leads there. So so if I can say, that's exactly what we would. I'm sorry, John. We went over uh, kind of that in the VIP uh, session today. Is these categories we we uh, went over how to find the expires, how to find the fisbos, how to find the furbos. Uh, you know, very briefly how we do a direct mail campaign. Um, so what we're we're putting on the chalkboard. Um, you know, the rubbers meeting the pavement. So I like to hear that. Yeah, yeah, and I've I've been. I've been a pretty active investor for four decades, so I'm not a newbie. I understand what I'm doing, um, and if I can get top in instruction as Don provides me, um, I'm going to be. I, I will certainly meet my goals that I've had here, and they are pretty substantial. So uh, it's great hearing uh, the work of the new guy. So I I can hear that this is all new and doable, and it just gives me the right motivation to want to get out and get kicking ass. So. Uh, yeah. Or, or but, excuse me. yeah, that's all right. You, you can say but on our on our uh, uh, training. <laughs> <here>. <laughs> but uh, I would uh, say a lot more, but you just keep me uh, keep me contained. That's all right. Uh, and so, uh, so Richard and I were supposed to have a uh, we're trying to have a call earlier today to really uh, zone in and do the direct mail for some of these uh, 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 lists that he has. But I was in Dallas, and uh, it is what it is. So, Richard and I, and I just wrote down and uh, for tomorrow uh, because we're running late on today. Are you available at nine a.m. tomorrow, Richard? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I wrote down. Look my at my well, I just you're on my calendar now for nine a.m. So you're stuck with me. Nine a.m. No, nobody likes to meet early. Nobody likes to meet early. That's why I know I have time because I know. Uh, there's nobody I'll, be up, I'll be up at 5 a.m. Uh, to hit the gym, and uh, you and I are going to do a Zoom at 9 a.m., and we're going to do some uh, some very laser-type marketing, some very laser-type direct mail that you're going to see the biggest response out of. But uh, as Joel attests, we don't want to uh, you know uh, spend too much on the first mailing. We're going to 
test it, test it, dial it in, dial it in. But yeah, with that big of a list, um, we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna. Uh, you got a lot of a lot of bait there, and then that hook. So I'm excited. Well, uh, I'm breaking the list down also into smaller sizes of 250 inches for male male purposes. So yep, uh, yep. I'm, so, I'm ready. Let's go. So I've got you down right here for tomorrow at 9 a.m. for a Zoom meeting. Okay. Okay. And we're gonna we're, it'll be on. Uh, uh, so we're we're gonna connect tomorrow and do that mailing. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I thought it would be great to have Jose who's done a, got some experience, done some deals. Richard, who just came on board, and uh, as we go to wrap things up here, uh, 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 Richard, I'll start with you since I was just talking to you. Richard, you just came on board, but I think you can already see what kind of access you have to me. I'm, I'm uh, uh, right there with you, a text or a phone call or an email away. Would you agree? Yes, I, I, I want to say this out loud, and I would say this personally to you. The only reason I'm here is because of you and your integrity. I've heard from other people who have been in your classes. I have never, and I, I don't use that word but, never, but I have never heard a disparaging word about you. I've heard some things about some of your bad jokes, but uh, <laughs> not about you. And you. I don't have any bad jokes. I don't have any bad <laughs> jokes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, they're, they're, they're all liars and fools. So, but, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I really like what I'm hearing, and I think you do have – I'm a member of three inner circles right now. Um, two of you guys are top-notch, and I just spent money on another one that will try to get the efforts out of it. But uh, you're, the, you're the real deal, John. All right. Well, I appreciate that, Richard. I appreciate that uh, very, uh, very much. Um, and uh, Jose, as we go to kind of wrap this up uh, for this coach's uh, corner. And the reason I, 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 I uh, mention accessibility uh, in the Dream Partner program is because <clears throat> Joe and I have both experienced, and and maybe uh, Jose, you and Richard have experienced this as well, where people have signed up for coaching and mentoring, and it turns out they got a guy in a cubicle in Utah, who they got to spend thirty minutes with each week, who is reading out of a uh, out of a out of a binder, <clears throat> right? Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. one of the biggest questions and concerns people have about coming on as, a, you know, and and in the coaching and mentoring is. What kind of access do I have to the coach, to the mentor? We've changed things up, and we're always trying to change things up to make it better and better. Where Joe Seski now does two coaching calls a day, Monday through Friday. So at any time, you know, during this big time slot, you can hop on and boom, there's Joe to answer your questions, which has worked out tremendously. Where if you're working with a seller and you need to get Joe involved or whatever, well, He's he's there online. So, <clears throat> so Jose, uh, as we kind of uh, go to wrap this up, you are here, doing two as well, no? Yeah, yeah. I'm, well, I'm yeah. doing uh, Tuesday, yeah. Friday, uh, <laughs> so twice a week. Joe does it twice a day. I do it twice a week. Oh, yeah, um, okay. And then I'll. Uh, it's not uncommon for me to do a, a little bit of a spur of the moment coaching if uh, someone needs it, uh, uh, for sure. But kind of in summary, Jose, uh, anybody that's on that may be on the fence about coming on as a dream partner, what uh, what words would you have for them? Jump the fence, you know, do it. You need to take action. It, it really works, you know. You take, need to take action, do it. You know, it don't work if you don't do anything. That, yeah. That's for sure, you know. But but if you do what you need to do, it will work, you know. It's, yep. It's something. And, and Joe, this is a good win for everybody. Uh, you said I wanted to get information on your coaching <laughs> time, and you said you added a document, but I had never received anything further. Is there any way you can? text me how to get on those calls yeah yeah i thought i'd send that to, yeah so uh so you had just come on board so uh we'll cover that tomorrow on at on our 9 a.m zoom okay richard and i'll shoot you a text just a Got reminder it. and everything okay Got it. is that camera on like a <laughs> <laughs> my camera is not telling what this is we're getting some interesting <laughs> shots here yeah i'm just curious <laughs> <laughs> <I'm not laughs> <knocking it>. uh, <laughs> Well, see, I don't um, have any money to buy a tripod and a real old camera, so I have to use what I can afford. Got uh, it. So, uh, uh, so let's kind of land the plane here and uh, uh, go. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So tomorrow, I know a lot of uh, a lot of the attendees. They want to know: uh, Are we doing seller calls? Is their homework assignment tonight? Is that correct? 
Yeah, so anybody that's a VIP member, uh, you'll want to go to uh, Zillow or Trulia or for sub owner or whatever, and uh, and simply find a for sub by owner or for rent by owner. And, and we need the property, property address. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, the property address, uh, this, uh, the the uh, seller's phone number, and then your name, and then any other additional information you think is pertinent. But we really need who you are, uh, the property address. Uh, and the seller's phone number. Yeah, and the phone number. And we just need to know if it's for sale or for rent, you know, and how much you're asking for it. And what's going to happen is you email those to leads, L E A D S, leads at leasingtobuy.com. We're going to print those off and call those tomorrow in the VIP room. If you're not VIP yet, I think my computer just died. If you're not VIP yet, you can go to lease option VIP, get all the recordings of all the training, all the documents, everything. Um, but yeah, so we're going to call Seller Leads Live tomorrow uh, in the VIP room. Now, tomorrow at noon central, we're going to be here talking about um, <clears throat> talking about uh, uh, how to find buyers. How do you find the buyers for the? So we talked about where, where do you find these sellers. Let's talk a little bit about how do you find the buyers. Uh, and there's multiple different ways to do that as well. So uh, tomorrow we'll talk a little bit more about the Dream Partner Program, what all uh, uh, is involved there, and uh, why it really is truly like a family. Uh, and then we'll talk about finding buyers. Friday we'll talk about how to do a closing and then scaling. Uh, uh, but tomorrow is how to find the buyers now. So. Um, Anyway, Richard, uh, think, I'm going to shoot you an email, Richard, with the link for uh, you and I for tomorrow on Zoom uh, to dive into these leads right. and make sure you get all the documents, everything that uh, uh, mm -hmm. that you'll need. Jose, sir, good to see you. And by the way, Richard yeah. and Jose, I fully a thousand percent uh, uh, anticipate seeing you all in February at the JW Marriott for the Mastermind. Is that correct? That's gonna be, yeah, that's going to be awesome. Better. All right, and uh, Joe is bringing his golf clubs. I will. I will bring <laughs> golf clubs. Yes, and, and I might even golf. pack a, a or, bag. Or maybe red. Or maybe red. red. I might even get my dry cleaning done ahead of time. <laughs> no, that will never happen. What do you say, Jose? <laughs> that if, if he don't bring his home, he can rent some. Yeah, he can just rent them, Joe. Jose is going to play golf. It's not the same, but yeah, no, I'll, I'll make sure I have my clubs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Well, Richard, as soon as we're done here, I'm going to shoot you an email with the link for tomorrow's training for you and I in the morning. Okay, Richard? Uh, and then we'll dive in. We're going to do uh, some uh, mail tomorrow, Richard, and get you all set up. Um, again, everybody else, um, you definitely want to get your name on the list uh, to work with myself and Joe as a dream partner. Uh, it's thedreampartners.com, thedreampartners.com. Com. Uh, we take this very, very seriously. We, we put uh, everything into it, put our entire whole uh, heart and souls into this to help people succeed. Uh, because for Joe or I, either of us to do a, a deal itself, uh, to be honest with you, has gotten boring. It just truly has because we've done so many. But there's something incredibly magical when one of our one of our students, like one of our kids, if you will, does a deal and we're there to help them run that race and cross that finish line. That is yeah. powerful. And that's what gets us yeah. stoked. Yeah. So uh, we're super incredible excited. when you get one of those checks. <laughs> yes, yes. The twenty four thousand. That that check you got for sixty thousand uh, dollars. That cashier's yeah. check. Sweet. Yeah. Those are awesome. nice too. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Well, Jose, thank you so much. Uh, very thank you. Much. Uh, Joe, we'll see you uh, on tomorrow's noon call. Uh, everybody else, we'll see you again. Yes, tomorrow at noon central inside this Facebook group. We're going to talk about how do you uh, how do you find the buyers. And we'll talk a little bit more about the numbers. How do you find the buyers? We'll talk more about the Dream Partner Program and really start to lay out what all is included there uh, with that mentorship because it's uh, it is definitely there's nothing else like it out there. Matter of fact, other uh, educators and gurus have have tried and tried to add <laughs> more and more. They I know for a fact they have because they're my friends. They've tried they've tried to add the more and more and more. Ingredient is is our and I don't like to show up, but I I truly believe it's you know our personalities and our drive to help our students. Were and I'm not going to name names. I know for other gurus or uh, coaching programs, they just you know want to funnel people through. So I mean I I generally you know generally care. Uh, about uh, our students' success, for sure. Oops, my headset fell up. So um, that's what keeps me going, John. 
Yep, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, so, all right, Jose, thank you so much. Uh, you. Uh, and <clears throat> congratulations on getting that deal closed on Monday, uh, but they got funded. So one of our lease option buyers got funded on their deal. They bought the house. So awesome. uh, super happy there. So the point is the leasing to buy program works. We help sellers that can't sell and buyers that can't All buy. my previous deals are already closed. What's that? All my previous deals have already closed. That. All so the buyers are right. already owners now. Jose's <laughs> 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 batting a hundred percent. Yeah, that's Good. awesome. I cool. love it. I love it. All right, guys. Hey, thank you. Take care. Uh, we'll see you later. Bye, guys. Thanks, Jose. Thanks, Joe. Thank right. you. Bye. Take care. Bye.